These soldiers are in week four of an intense nine-week course which will see their fitness ability tested to the highest degree. It's also the last final arms physical training course to take place in Germany before the school closes in October. The guys, the course is important because we need physical training instructors out on the ground with, uh, with the knowledge to be able to deliver PT back to their units in order to get the, uh, the units fit for operations. There is a history here, we've been open since 1953, so it will be sad to see the school close, but there's bigger and brighter things happening in the UK and hopefully we'll be opening up a, another school back in the UK as well. Faced with continuous assessments, both theory and practical based, this course is far from an easy ride and many will not make it through to the end. Every Thursday the course has a flag competition which is student led. The aim is to be marked as a group on a variety of exercises that test leadership skills and overall endurance. Throughout the course there will be six flag competitions, so this is the third one now. They will compete every week and then at the, win the winners between the two sections will get the flag on the final day on the pass off parade. The boys are working really hard, they do every Thursday and it's good because the, the competition brings out the best in people. I'm looking for but men who start to lead when things start going wrong or people start to get tired, so it shows true character between the guys. And I also look for teamwork. We are a section throughout the whole nine-week course. We need to be working as a team. From 50 participants to begin with, 37 are still fighting fit. Among those are soldiers who've travelled over from Brunei, Cyprus and the UK. The rest are Germany-based. Very challenging. Uh, I'm the only female on the course, so I'm, I'm trying to be one of the lads. Uh, which sometimes can be difficult, but um, it, it is a PTI course, so um, you, you have to be strong. <laughs> the most challenging right now is uh, rope climbing. Yeah, because uh, in Brunei we don't have uh, ropes over there, so basically it's really challenging over here to do rope climbing. I thoroughly enjoyed the course so far. It's, um, it's why I joined the army, the whole teamwork, the fitness, the um, yeah, that's it. The coursemanship, I really enjoy it. Um, I've always really enjoyed fitness and sport, and this course, as uh, I've been told, teaches you a lot about fitness, the aspects of fitness. And it's hard work. I mean, everyone's, everyone's uh, pushing hard, and that's the way you have to be. I mean, everyone's competing against each other in different sections, and everyone just pushes to maximum effort. And so if you're pushing hard, you're going to find it hard, which is, which is what it's all about, pushing hard and getting, getting the best result you can. After a well-deserved cool-down and stretch, there's no rest for these students as they face another five weeks of challenging events, pushing themselves to the limit. Amy Matthews, Forces News, in Paderborn, Germany.